July brings a new firmware update for MetaQuest 2 and Quest Pro headset with many new features. However, not all of them are available in all countries at the same time, so if any of these features I am about to list are not present on your headset, don't worry, they should gradually arrive with future interim updates. The V56 build of the new firmware introduced a function that has always been among the most requested, especially by long-time users who have already been able to experience this function in the past. I'm talking about streaming to Facebook. If your headset is connected not only to your Meta account but also to your Facebook account, from the options of recording or casting, you also find those for streaming to your Facebook profile, with the possibility to show your friends the game or application you're using in the are, while you can read the real-time chat on a panel that displays viewers' comments and reactions, as well as their number. Another new addition with V56 is the ability to enable subtitles for 2D applications, videos and other multimedia contents. However, this won't be generated for the voice of the players who are, for example, in a party with you at that moment. If you have never liked the button layout on the controllers, thanks to V56 you can customize the button mapping. Although in some countries this feature may not be available yet. V56 also introduced the ability to perform future updates even when the headset is turned off and charging. When an update is released for installed app or new firmware is available, the headset automatically turns on for the necessary time to complete the update, so when you use it, you won't have to wait for your games and apps to be updated. Now you can also establish and set by default whether your microphone audio should be active or not during recording. In some countries, the ability to type on keyboard using finger swipe has been added, similar to the Android keyboard on mobile phones. Thanks to the update, always press in V56 of Hand Tracking 2.2, which reduce latency by 40% during typical use and up to 75% during rapid movements, making virtual hands much more responsive. Additionally, the fast motion mode improves tracking quality, reducing shaking of your virtual hands. Finally, on the shutdown screen, you'll see the battery charge icon, so that you can remember to charge your headset. And for Quest Pro only, there's now the option to activate system local dimming among the experimental options. These are the major updates and most important features added with the new V56 firmware for MetaQuest 2 and Quest Pro headsets. Remember that you might not find all functions immediately available, as some of them may only be made available in certain countries. Keep following to stay up to date and ask me in the comments anything you want to know about the update or any other topic about VR. Thanks for watching the complete video, like, subscribe and share, support the channel using the super thanks button, that's all from them, see you next time and see ya in VR. Greetings, Riff Ruff.